Hey guys, and today we'll be adding a weapon to the true first person shooter. First we create a child blueprint of the rifle or shotgun depending on what weapon we want. Then we rename it to the weapon that we're trying to make, and then add it to its own folder. Then we copy the file structure for all the materials and textures that we need, so it matches everything else just so we can have the same naming conventions and organization. Here you can see me copying all the materials and textures over from the asset pack that I got this off. We also want to copy all the animations for the hands and weapons. So this means that we can retarget them later to work with the skeleton, which we'll do now. So we want to open up the first person shooter skeleton from the pack that we downloaded it off. Then we set the rig to humanoid. Then we save it. And then we simply delete the skeleton and select it to replace the reference with the UE4 mannequin. We then save everything. Close it and then it should all work. Now we can see that all the animations are retargeted to the correct skeleton. We now want to enter the AK-47 blueprint. And change the weapon mesh to the AK-47. We then want to set the iron sight point, or the free sight point, sorry. And set all the montages and animations to be correct. So the way it works in the two first person shooters is that there's actually two types of reloads for weapons. There's a short and a long reload, and that effectively means that one of them reloads when the weapon's empty and one of them reloads when the weapon's got a bullet inside the chamber. Then we want to create an animation blueprint for the weapon so the montages work correctly. All you need is a montage slot inside the animation blueprint. Then you can go through the weapon and choose all the different settings and change the variables to, so the weapon can shoot correctly to the specification of that weapon. Then you want to add sockets to the weapon itself. So this means that all the attachments and everything will go on correctly to the weapon on that specific socket. Now you can drop the weapon into the scene and pick it up to see how it plays. Now I can see that the IK and aiming down sight position is slightly off, so I'll make a modi modification to that. Now this might take a bit of trial and error to just figure out the right position. You may need to modify a couple of the montages blend in and blend out timings, just so the animation is slightly smoother. But now you know how to implement a weapon correctly into the true first person shooter. Thanks for watching.